good day to you. I do hope you're having a wonderful day. We are looking at something a little different here. I'm looking at a verse that probably most people have heard or know. Uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Now I'm going to read this from the Amplified Bible, and it's, it's a little different. I can do all things which he has called me to do through him who strengthens and empowers me to fulfill his purpose. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses me with inner strength and confident peace. Now that is a different, it's not a different meaning really, but it is a different, more explained, let me find this in, just bear with me for a minute, I'm going to find this in the, uh, the my, my paper, the English Standard Version, I want to read that version to you. Um, I'm sorry, this is totally, I just kind of do these off the cuff. Um, so, I mean, I kind of have an idea in my head, but I just kind of run with it. So, bear with me. Um, so, if I look at the ESV version, it says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Okay. So, that's good, but there is, let's, let's look at the other version for a moment. Let's look at, uh, what do I have? King James Version. Let's go with the King James Version. All right, now the King James Version is I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. In other words, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Okay, that's the purest, simplest form of this. Now, if we look at, I also have been looking at the Net Bible quite a bit, so bear with me. I am able to do all things through the one who strengthens me. Now, the one being mentioned here, is um the the one being mentioned here is understood to be Jesus okay so while we have some slightly different variations like I can do all things through him who strengthens me again this is intended to be through through Jesus because he's talking about I rejoiced in the Lord etc etc I'm not trying to blow that off but I'm just talking about what we're reading here in Philippians so but the Amplified Bible is trying to give, in my opinion, a, a clear understanding of this verse, perhaps in a way that we don't get from some of the simpler ones. So let me read that again. Okay, now this is just verse 13, but the Amplified Bible does make it quite a bit more. I can do all things which he has called me to do through him who strengthens and empowers me. Again, the him is Jesus Christ. To fulfill his purpose, I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses me with inner strength and confident peace. Now, let's just break this down. I can do all things, and it says, which he has called me to do through him who strengthens and empowers me. So that's, that's the thing. That is what we normally read, pretty much. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And this is basically, I can do all things which he has called me to do through him who strengthens and empowers me. So the implied thing is I can do all things that he is expecting of us, that he wants us to do, that the Lord wants us to do, what we should be doing to follow the Lord. Now, that means everything, every day. That means from the mundane the, the little mundane stuff that we're called to do as maybe a uh, maybe as a as a husband a father a wife a mother you know all the little mundane things we're called to do those things but we're also called to do things for the Lord for God and uh, you know that might be again that might be simple things it might be something simple we do just to help someone out um, or it could be um, something more important maybe you have a, a really you know more of a ministry you know maybe um, you teach you know uh, Bible class maybe you teach the ladies class or the men's class or whatever children's class you know whatever you do so I can do all these things which he has called me to do which is you know 
which is basically you can look at it and say that it's it's the, it's everything because it's what we're supposed to do um, through him who strengthens and empowers me to fulfill his purpose now a lot of this here is is like a it's almost like a restatement I am self-sufficient in Christ in Christ's sufficiency I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses me with inner strength and confident peace so it's that's almost like you're stating the same thing two ways and in both cases through Jesus through Christ we are equal to the task we are equal to you know ready to do what we should do and we can do all the things that we're supposed to do it doesn't mean I can do all things like I can leap the impression you know I can leap a building in a single bound it doesn't mean like the Superman idea or you know something crazy like that but it does mean that I can do everything that I need to do that I'm called to do I can do everything that I'm supposed to do you know this is all in realistic this is a realistic statement in realistic ways you know, God doesn't mean to give us delusions of grandeur or have us do something ridiculous and crazy. So, but I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, who empowers me. So this, you know, now there is a, um, there is another verse that kind of goes with this, though it reads slightly differently and you might I'm sure you're familiar with it it's a couple of verses actually and you'll know it probably when you hear it but um, it's in 2nd Corinthians and it's chapter 12 verses 9 and 10 now, I, I retain the right to to modify the verses a little bit sometimes I tend to add to them so let's do this so um all right now this is Paul, and he's talking about, you know, he has um, he has a thorn in the flesh, and he says that he had asked the Lord three times that it might leave him. But, now this is what God says to him, but he has said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. My loving kindness and my mercy are more than enough, always available, regardless of the situation. Now understand this is from the Amplified Bible. For my power is being perfected and is completed and shows itself most effectively in your weakness. Therefore, I will gladly boast in my weakness so that the power of Christ may completely enfold me and may dwell in me. So I am well pleased with weaknesses, with insults, with distresses, with persecutions, and with difficulties for the sake of Christ. For when I am weak in human strength, then I am strong, truly able, truly powerful, truly drawing from God's strength. So these two verses kind of go together, though these two verses kind of go with the other verses, what I'm saying. Um, these two verses here in 2 Corinthians, it's chapter 12, verses 9 and 10, they kind of go with Philippians 4.13. They complement each other in that here Paul explains how how we can do all those things even on those bad days even when maybe we're weak we're not strong maybe we're feeling down or feeling low or whatever like with my technical difficulties lately it's kind of been a bummer you know but nonetheless that's beside the point um but he has said to me my grace is sufficient for you my loving kindness and my mercy are more than enough always available regardless of the situation which God's mercy and grace is always available regardless of the situation for my power and this is again talking about God is being perfected and is completed and shows itself most effectively in your weakness in our weakness in Paul's weakness God's power shines through us in our times of weakness it shines to us all the time really but it shows up even more so because then when you get through something and you realize that it was only it makes you appreciate it so much more because you only you only made it through the grace of God you're like I thank you so much Lord thank you God that 
you help me get through these rough times. It 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 changes you, and it, and it, and that shows that shows to other people too. Therefore, I will more gladly boast in my weaknesses. Now, this is Paul speaking, so that the power of Christ may completely enfold me, and may dwell in me. So I am well pleased with weaknesses, with insults, with distresses, with persecutions, and with difficulties. For the sake of Christ, for when I am weak in human strength, then I am strong, truly able, truly powerful, truly drawing from God's strength. And, and there's a song I like that kind of goes along with that too, that basically uses that verse. Uh, not like this in the Amplified, they use the other version, the shorter version of that. But, nonetheless, if I flip back over to the English version, which will be a little shorter, and, um, well, it helps if you get into right Corinthians. I'm looking in first, but no, I'm in, I'm in the right one now. Just pause, pause. Give me just a moment. So, um, now, so this is the English version of the same verses, but he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And that's the simple version for when I am streak, weak. Oh, I'm sorry. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And that is Paul explaining how that, you know, um, he's saying in a nutshell that with Christ's power, with the power of God upon him when he's weak, he has the strength of Jesus, he has the strength of God. Do you understand? We're drawing upon the power, we're drawing from God's strength, so that we can, again, as we said in our other verse, do all things that we're called to do, do the things we're supposed to do, do these things that we need to do day in and day out, and do the special things, and do the other things, whatever that may be, whether that may be something in, in your ministry, or in your job, or maybe you're just helping someone out of the blue, I mean, whatever, whatever that might be. So, um, so that is the essence of, I guess, my message, and I just, it just really kind of, kind of came together here. Uh, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us and even on the bad days even when we're having a rough time and we're having trouble maybe doing the things we're supposed to do we can rely on God we can rely on his strength we can rely on his grace and his mercy to carry us through his grace is sufficient for us and his loving kindness his mercy is always available for us and his power has perfected us in us in our weakness. When we feel really down, even when we feel really down on ourselves, you know, if we will just admit that we're weak and rely on, on God's strength and draw from him, we, we can do all things, all the things we're supposed to do, everything that, that, that we need to do. Okay? All right. So um, thank you very much for listening. Hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to uh remember to you know be kind to others out there and remember God loves you. <laughs>